Question 3. The table shows some information about six caravans in a holiday park. Part A. Write down the number of caravans that sleep six people or more than six people. So I'm just going to circle or highlight which ones will have more than six people. Well, the chestnut one, well, that sleeps more than six. Seal doesn't. Puffin does. And that's it. So how many caravans sleep six or more people? Well, that's only two. Part B. Write down the names of the caravans with a sea view and a DVD player. So to do this, I'm going to go down the list again, and this time I'll put a little star next to each one, just to indicate where I'm getting my answers from. Well, the chestnut caravan has neither. Seal has a sea view and a DVD player, so that's definitely one of my answers. Puffin has a sea view and a DVD player, so that's another answer. Turn has a sea view but no DVD player. Heron has no sea view and a DVD player, and the same with Pearl. So the answer for part B, the two caravans with a sea view and a DVD player, would be the Seal Caravan and the Puffin Caravan. Now, as it's only worth one mark, you did have to get both of those correct. If you put anything extra on there, you would also lose that mark for having an incorrect answer. Part C. Work out the difference between the highest weekly hire price and the lowest weekly hire price you could pay. Mike wants to hire a caravan that sleeps exactly four people. So it's a two mark question, meaning we're going to have to have some form of working out here. The ones that hold exactly four people would be the seal caravan, the heron caravan, and the pearl caravan. So we're trying to find the difference between the highest and lowest values between those three. If we look at those three values, we have 579, 519, and 449 pounds. So the highest value is 579 pounds. To find the difference, I would have to take away the smallest value, in this case, 449 pounds. If we work that out, showing our calculations in this space, we're guaranteed to get at least our method mark. 9 take away 9 is 0. 7 take away 4 is 3. 5 take away 4 is 1. So the difference between those two costs is £130. Each caravan has a width of 12 feet. For part D, use 1 foot is 30 centimeters to work out the width of a caravan. So if they're all 12 feet, it doesn't matter which one we're looking at in this case, it's just a matter of converting 12 feet into centimeters. If one foot is 30 centimeters, we're going to multiply whatever our feet is by 30. So in this case, because we have 12 feet wide, we're going to do 12 multiplied by 30. If we ignore the 0 for now, we could do 3 times 12, which is 36, meaning 30 times 12 must be 360. Now at the moment, that's in centimetres, because our conversion rate told us that 1 foot was 30 centimetres. But the question clearly says, give your answer in metres. So for now, we have one mark. To get our s second mark, we've shown our working out, but for the third mark we have to write our answer in meters. Now I know that one meter is a hundred centimeters, therefore the answer that we want is going to be 360 divided by a hundred. When you divide by a hundred, all numbers move right two places. So the 300 becomes a three, the 60 moves into the tenths column. So there's a decimal point, a 6, showing that the answer is going to be 3.6 metres.